Welcome. Welcome. Bienvenue. Welcome. Welcome to the Mind Grapes podcast. Hello, Mind Grapes Nation, and welcome to episode seven of the Mind Grapes we podcast. We are back. We are back. My name is Clark Cave, and I'm joined today by, as always, Trent Reese. So happy to be here. And my lovely, beautiful wife, Taylor. Taylor. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, thanks for being here. So first off, we want to apologize. Uh, last week, uh, we were not able to do the podcast because... I went golfing. Mm -hmm. I signed up for a golf tournament thinking that I would golf okay. I thought I had a chance. Um, I did not have a chance. <laughs> I golfed terribly. I ended up, you know, having a crazy allergic reaction, got hives all over my face, thought I had pink eye. Turned out that it was just allergies. Yeah. So out of an abundance of caution, we decided to hold off because I didn't want to bring pink eye into the cave household. Okay. So the moral of the story is... Don't, don't go golfing. Don't don't, go. don't skip the migration. <laughs> Do people hey, rely on this button? Now like, we know. Now we know. I know the Troys and the G days out there and the the Womble families. They they have they, nothing to watch. They've been they've been completely bored this week because we weren't able to give them any uh, any recommendations. So yeah. So I I apologize to our our loyal listeners. Okay. That that was on me. Okay. Well, all the hate mail just. Direct it towards yeah. Trent. I did. I had no That's part in this. Trent at themindgrapes.com. Trent at themindgrapes.com. Okay. So, uh, as always, let's go on ahead and get cracking. And we're going to let Taylor go first today. So, Taylor, you're pulling up your mind grapes? I'm pulling it up. What is on your mind grapes this week? Well, should I start with the obvious? Yes. Okay. The ultimatum. Yeah. The ultimatum. We have to I mean, talk we have about to it. start with this. Yeah. It's the ultimate. <laughs> I don't, it really I, is i don't know what it is about these netflix dating reality shows they that suck you in. they suck you in and you can't stop watching them they trash. literally absorb all of your time i know i have to say disclaimer i do not agree with this process yeah. at all it's actually terrible however like i said it sucks you in do Super you want to read the overview sure get hitched or call it quits Couples put their love to the test while shacking up with other potential matches <laughs> in a provocative reality series. <laughs> Again, I mean, who like thought I there said, would be issues, right? Well, <laughs> seriously, I will say Nick Lachey at the very beginning, uh, he said, disclaimer, this is absolutely not the way you should handle any type of couple issue. This yeah. is yeah. it's obviously for a TV show. I mean, who would have thought getting a couple that were already kind of like on rocky footing yeah. together and saying, oh, by the way, you're going to go spend three weeks with somebody that you're physically and, you know, emotionally attracted to. Because the whole beginning right. of the series, they were trying to find somebody that they were attracted to. Exactly. And I don't know, personal belief is like the, the whole point of these shows is just to cause chaos. And it did, for yeah. sure. It's, it, so ultimately, one of the, the guy or the girl in the couple gives the other an ultimatum. Yeah. It says, either you marry me or we're done. I'm, so I'm walking. that's why they go on the show. One person gave the ultimatum. I'm sorry, but if Clark gave me the ultimatum, I'd be gone. Yeah. I wouldn't be going on the show. I, I think if I were like on the fence, but okay, we explained the plot in another podcast, right? So essentially, I think we the, did two weeks ago. Okay. So the plot very, very briefly, uh, one, so there's, I think six, six or eight couples, doesn't matter. They, uh, one of the members of the relationship says you either need to marry me or leave me. So they give them an ultimatum, and then I guess they contacted Nick Lachey or saw saw this they broadcast. Stand up for the show. Yeah, we're doing the show. So they come on this show, um, and they spend a week. Everyone spends a week dating each other within these couples, and then uh, kind of like they, a trial phase to yeah, pick yeah. the person, like you said, so who's they, most suitable. They have a dating week. They pick one, and then they spend three weeks with the person that they picked. And then after that, they spend the following three weeks with the person they originally came with. Uh, ultimately, there's a decision to be made that they either stay together or leave right. or uh, leave with the new person they found. So that was uh, that was essentially the plot. 100% designed to cause chaos. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And, and what's Nick Lachey's wife's name? Vanessa. But, okay, I think it's so funny that like in the first episode, they're like, "We are doing this to help you find love to determine yeah. if this is you she know what you truly want." I'm like, "That's 
not, not what we're true. doing. And and the whole time, there were a couple times where she was like brought to tears because she was so moved by what yeah, was going on, on in the show. Yeah. I'm like, all right, you're yeah. you're just collecting a paycheck. She's you a and your actress. husband. They must. They're probably raking it in. Yeah. This, is a this show business and business love is uh, love is love blind. is blind straight into the ultimatum. You yeah. look at you look at TV shows like like The Dropout or Severance or uh, Ozarks or any number of these shows that take that require tons and tons of thought and teams of people. Production and, effort. And genius. <laughs> money. Production. It just. And I wonder if they're even making as much money <laughs> as this stupid cookie cutter model. And what's so crazy? Obviously, you're not you're not getting Stanford grads yeah. on on this show, right? I'm not to disparage any of the participants, but they're young. Mm -hmm. They, you know, we were having a conversation I'm about their brains. Twenty three, and their I want to be married right, right ready now. For yeah, their I'm brains are not fully formed. Yeah. you know, their frontal cortex is not fully formed. And as someone recently described it, they're just all amygdala. <laughs> right so they're all just Hormones. human hormone human yeah. urges so they think they want these things and they speak so resolutely about the yep. things that they think they want um we were talking about this yeah at 20 i mean we like are so different now even at 30 yeah. you are like look back at your, your values 20, are different yes your it's beliefs. your 20 something yeah. self and you're like oh whoa i didn't know what i wanted i yeah. regret almost every decision <laughs> i made in my early 20s in the same way exclusive yeah. like <laughs> I, I, but the thing is, they they still are. I hear this repetitive refrain that they said, "I trust the process," yeah. and I'm like, "Are you a moron? <laughs> this process was created like in a in a lab by like <laughs> conniving people. Like, yeah. how can we make people? It's, no, it honestly sounds like it was made by a handful of girls at wine night. Like, oh, this yeah. would be entertaining. True, and it, and it was. <laughs> It was entertaining. Yeah, Again, right. I couldn't stop watching it. Yeah. So it, it was effective in that sense. There were there were two situations that happened early on in the show that I just want to bring up because yeah. I thought it was hilarious. I don't remember all the characters' names, but, it, you know, that kind of, I think, talks about how the lack of quality of the show and also probably just my memory. Um, but the first, the blonde girl that you could tell had a ton of plastic surgery. Alexis. Alexis. I don't think she had a ton of, do you uh, think? She, had, she had a lot of filler. She had filler, like right? Botox and yeah. fillers, probably. But it was hilarious when she like went up to Colby and she was kind of yeah. like cold and she's like, I think you're attractive. You know, I think we should move in together. Mm -hmm. Basically expecting him to be like, cool, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. And he was like, no, we're not doing this. And she's like, can she, I ask why? She had an ego burst yeah. for sure. <laughs> and Colby was like, I don't think you're attractive. That and then she was immediately like, he's mad. the worst person he's ever. Mad, yeah. He's telling his or she's telling Colby's girlfriend that like, oh, he's a terrible he's person. Bad, yeah. You shouldn't date him. And it's like, oh, that's funny because five was on minutes the hunt ago, yeah, from that moment on, yeah. to destroy him. Dude, I I would have never ever said something like that in my. It was life. mean. That was, it was really. That it was, was really mean. It's not a nice. It's like tell someone they're unattractive. Was, you cannot unsay that. Kind yeah. Of stuff. You, well, he you can, he said a lot of things he shouldn't have said. He, yeah. He's, he's very immature issues. again. Yeah. 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 He did. He did. So, I mean, not self-aware. That's a good, definitely not right. self-aware. You're not bringing people, you're not bringing like well-adjusted people onto this show. Like you're bringing, there's maybe that, I don't know. There's always ulterior motives. You don't know why people, uh, some of these, some of the guys were like, I did not want to be here, but I just acquiesced because you just wouldn't stop talking yeah. about yeah, it. Yeah. And but they then, got paid, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, so. and, and, and the they social got put media up, presence. They got put like, up in condos for... Yeah. Two months, three months. Okay. In my twenties, that may have sounded fun. Yeah. In my like, that would be miserable. That yeah. would be like prison for me. Yeah. Right now. Absolutely. Um. Well, some of these people probably didn't care too much about their relationship that they were coming in there with. So this what was fun. Some, a few of I them can wanted see you more. Being like that, like, oh, okay, I'll if go I, on this. If I am I really, I don't know. You're just you're all amygdala. You're mm -hmm. all emotion, and just like I remember how I was in my twenties, just. Like I couldn't, I, I couldn't calibrate, mm -hmm. right? Uh, which is so funny. I wrote, I wrote some things down. Like I wrote. <laughs> you should hold so up many, to the camera. I'm yeah. not gonna, no one can read my handwriting. <laughs> but the the participants sound so resolute. Yeah. Like they understand. I understand my personality. I understand what I'm gonna want now. I, myself. I understand what I want in the future, and I'm like. But you do think that at 24. Yeah, you do. I did too. I thought I did know what I wanted. But looking back now, I'm like, whoa. 
you're, thank God I didn't move forward with some of the decisions I were yeah. I was thinking about. And they, they say it. that and they're so firm in their belief. And then they go out and they make a decision. You're like, that goes against yeah, everything you just said. Yeah. You just, you just, you, your entire thesis just broke <laughs> apart. But they're just a walking cliche. Yeah. The, everything they say, like I could count the number of times you say, you have to be 100% truthful, right? Uh, Ray was talking, was it Ray? He's talking about, I, you know, I'm just living my truth, right? Which I love that. Well, term. a lot of them said that for like, sure. That's your truth. But my truth is I may have cheated on you, but your truth is I, I like, I'm going to call it something different. Yeah. Here's another one. Or yeah. I cheated on you for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did this for oh you. My yeah. Oh my gosh. That's the self-aware comment yeah. I was really talking about because he's like, I just, I just didn't like the person I matched with. So I had to go out and find someone different. Yeah. So I could, you know, ex experience it for you. Yeah. I'm Dude, gonna, no. So I'm going to skip to this. So this is what he said during that conversation. The last thing I want to do is put our relationship in jeopardy. Colby says this. <laughs> did I sleep with someone else? Yes, I don't think he's. Said, <laughs> said, Will I do it again? I don't have a crystal ball. He didn't say <laughs> but, that. <so. laughs> but there's such an algorithm to this yeah. where people they have this fight, and then they start cueing the ballad music right right at the end of the fight. So I'm gonna ruin every reality TV what? show for you now. But the music starts right when there's about right when a fight's about to begin, mm -hmm. and then once once they stop talking. Then the chorus crashes in, right? The yeah, chorus drops. exactly. And it's just, it's like, run. zoom in on faces. Yeah. And it's great, too, if you're watching with, um, like, captions on yeah. or subtitles on because the <laughs> names of the song choices yeah. match up with whatever feelings are exactly. going on in the show at the time. And it's like, it shows you how much thought's being put into these. I don't want to be lonely these. anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some dude sitting on a bench in the rain. <laughs> But, oh gosh. It's they just bad. That. You shouldn't, again, like, there's no, this is crazy. It'll just ruin our relationships. Yeah. The physical aspect, definitely. Yeah. I, I mean, obviously, there's so much more than a relationship than what these yeah. shows are, are putting out there. It's all about the immediate satisfaction. What can you give to me? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the point of relationship. It's what definitely can we do not. together? What can I give you? It's surrendering yourself. Yeah. To your partner, surrounding yourself to God, surrounding yourself 100%. so much more. And this goes against all of that. Really. Yeah. Oh, 100%. So, yeah. That's but why none of them work out, too. Totally entertaining. It's so. all yeah. baked in lust. It's all baked in lust and these cliches and amygdalas. And I mean, okay. Here's the bet. Here is the number one example of why, how this is just designed to cause, uh, I don't know, like a nuclear war. They have a girl's night and a guy's night. Where all the girls who've been dating each other's boyfriends yeah. and all the guys yeah. who've been dating like can talk about it. These girls aren't friends. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Like, I don't a fist fight. I I, I wouldn't have been. You know, myself in my twenties. I'm just gonna grab her. I'm gonna get her. Okay. <laughs> Our daughter's crying. So yeah. So um, <clears throat> okay. So the ultimatum. I gave it a thumbs down. Yeah. Again, I gave it a thumbs down just because it's it's so ridiculous. It was obviously produced for one reason. And it was to be chaotic, to be entertaining. It is all of those things, but a terrible example of dating in today's society. Oh yeah, yeah. it's just horrible. I mean, it was no. not designed. People say trust the process. I'm just no. that. Just like, yeah, are you, are you it's crazy? a terrible process. But, uh, here, here's another process you got to trust. One guy dating fifty girls, <laughs> and then he he picks them off selectively. And yeah, whatever. it's like, come on, Man. whatever. It, we we've spent a solid fourteen minutes. Okay. Um, yeah. but, just shows you how much entertainment it, value is in the show. You, this week is this week has kind of been dull. Like yeah. there there hasn't been a lot coming out. It's it. Uh, I was having a talk with G Day about this recently. It's like, yeah, you know, there's some things that should be coming out soon, but we don't we don't. Yeah. Uh, I, it was kind of quiet on my grips this week. Yeah. And at, on your recommendation, I started watching Severance. Oh yeah. Um, I got through about 20 minutes of the first episode. And there was a scene where uh, the lady sitting behind the desk, I forget the, her her name, um, but she says, she drops the F-bomb, says like, what the F, my two-year-old sitting right next to me. Oh. And he just looks at me and he goes, dad, what the F? Oh and like he gosh. said it. And oh, so God. I had to turn the show off and I haven't turned it on since then. I'm, I'm going to, but it just, I thought that was funny that, mm -hmm. you know, he's just soaking up everything that he's yeah. hearing. So And that's bad because they... Don't seem to mind using that word now. Yeah. On any show, which. 
Oh, I'm not to pull it back to the ultimatum, but it's like it's gratuitous. I guess maybe I was like that in my twenties, but just yeah. dropping that dropping that word just constantly. Yep. It's like it it isn't it's not necessary. We wouldn't want our children to watch this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. My That's wife true. and I were having this conversation this morning when we were finishing up the last episode. Oh dude, but severance is severance is I wanna create so okay. It took me a while to get into that one actually. Yeah. It is it has been so gripping. I still don't fully know what's going on, but you again, never, I'm only don't. I'm halfway through the first episode. It take, oh, no. It's very confusing. Okay, it really is. And then it's like it's slowly. Start, it's like a puzzle. It slowly starts coming together. The more you watch, the the further that you, you I, get. I love episodes. those types of shows. Yeah, we just the last episode. I don't know what number it was, but it sucked me in. Like it mm. took me a while. It's finally getting really good. And every one of these episodes, and they're coming out weekly. It's Ben Stiller, by the way. Ben Stiller does this, but uh, he's producing the show. It is it. Right at the end, you're just like sucked in. You're like, what's gonna happen next? It, yeah. What do you call those? Like the suspense, like the cliffhanger. cliffhanger yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they just leave you with like the this cliffhanger that's like, no, I've yeah. got to wait seven days. Exactly. It almost makes me want to just not watch it yet until. <laughs> That's happened to me with a couple of shows that are doing the week to week yeah. episodes. It's like new content's coming out every week that I get sucked into another show. So I stopped watching the show that I was watching two yeah. weeks ago. It's it's really difficult right now. And that was a hard one for me to get into, honestly. Yeah. I, it is very confusing because there's two characters. They're any and they're outie. The person they are while they're at work and the person they are while they're outside. And they forget okay. everything. As soon as they leave the building, the work building they're, they don't know what they do, really. That's crazy. It, it's I am I am picking up on that so far. And it's just weird how they just all four sit together in the mm -hmm. cubicles, and uh, it just a bit it, crazy. It is so it's so great. I know we've we've spoke we've talked uh, severance to death, but what are you most looking? You looking forward to watching anything? The show we started last night, okay. and I can't think of the name of it. The one with Carson. The, can you pull Ren it up on your Renee, mind, Grapes? Renee mm -hmm. Zellweger. Uh, the yeah. thing. The thing, the about, thing Pam. about Pam. It's yeah. a true story, correct? Yeah. And I thought that mm -hmm. she had gained the weight for the, the show. Mm -hmm. Didn't she do that in Bridget Jones's diary? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she didn't. She has on a suit. Oh, that didn't matter. Yeah. I just thought that was funny. So it's based on a 2011 murder of Betsy Faria that resulted in her husband Russ's conviction. Though he insisted he did not kill her, his conviction later was overturned, but the brutal crime set off a chain of events that would expose a diabolical scheme deeply involving Pan Hup. I, I thought... She's a great, Renee Zelliger is doing a great job portraying her because you can just, she acts so mysterious. Like you can tell she's crazy. And what she's is a that? great actress anyway. She is, she's uh, awesome. But um, on the watch list. What is, uh, what is, hold on. We were listening to a podcast, like a murder podcast or something like that. I'm almost positive. There is, there is a podcast on this. So you probably listen. We probably listen to yeah. it. What, what's that podcast we listen to all the time? The Laundry? No, the murder one. That you oh, were. Crime Junkie. Crime Junkie. Side yeah. note, yeah. Check that out. <laughs> They're based on true stories too. Unsolved. Crime murder. Junkie. I'm sure it was a crime junkie. But and, it's not unsolved. But you know what? There's a, who's Justin Timberlake's wife? I forget her name. Bill. Jessica. Jessica Biel. 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 She is in another. She's in an upcoming movie that's coming out on uh, uh, Hulu. How do you spell Biel? B i e l. B i e l. B i e l. Okay. So I'm, <laughs> I'm searching her on on uh, my grips. Okay, Candy. She's in a show, a new movie or a series called Candy, which is a very similar plot. Candy Montgomery in the 1980s housewife. Uh, mother who did everything right, good husband, two kids, nice house, and even a careful planning and execution of transgressions. But when the pressure of her conformity builds within her, her actions scream just uh, for a bit of freedom until someone tells her to shush with deadly results. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm finding this too. Yeah, th this looks you very... You tag me in a, a date night. We love the murder mysteries. I do too. Especially true stories. I do too. Johnny doesn't. It's so hard for her to get to watch any well, of the shows or get into them. I can only watch certain, like, for yeah. a certain amount of time because then you start to get a little freaked out. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> I think, her thing is she's yeah. afraid that it can happen. But I remember when we were moving out here, we were PCS PCSing out here, and she's driving with me in the car, and I have one of the podcasts on or whatever, murder podcast. Yeah. 
Uh, and it's the one with the Australian guy. I don't know if you've heard that, but really deep, cryptic, you know, voice and describing a, a murder in great like detail. And that's when Johnny was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm yeah. going to go crazy. I've so. said that. I've done that to him too. I mean, we can only listen to so many and then I'm like, okay, I can't. Mm -hmm. We need something lighthearted. No. Put so, on a, a preaching episode. <laughs> we need some God. Yeah. So, so uh, two murder mysteries that are coming. Yeah. So, yeah. Or, I mean, that's that they, and they look very similar. Well, one is on Peacock and the other is on Hulu. So uh, that's up to you. So, okay. We're going to. Uh, why don't I just hit? I'm gonna excuse myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Feed Carson. Bye, Carson. But yeah, those were the two shows. And Byron Bay's. That's just a side note. Byron another Bay's. trash. It's, another. It's, it's really. It's based in Australia. Siesta Key for caretaker. Siesta Key for uh, Australians. <laughs> okay. So Trent. Yes. I have a question for you. Yeah. What is on your mind, grades this week? Okay, so this week I watched a, a few movies that I'll just very briefly mention. Um, so I watched Coda. Coda was the the movie that just won all of those Academy Awards, right? Academy Awards or won Oscars, same thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to give it a, a watch. Great movie. I think it had an awesome score, awesome cinematography, great character development, great acting. Just a very overall moving movie. Highly recommend it um, for anybody out there. And that is also on Apple TV. Um, another movie that Did you just, just start that, by the way? What? The movie? Mm -hmm. Coda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched it. There's only one season, right? It's a, it's a movie. Wait, Coda? Coda. Oh, yeah, it is a movie. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, awesome movie. Is there going to be a, a Coda 2 or something? <laughs> I thought I heard something about there that. There might be. Okay. About like, her going away to college. But yeah. Beautiful movie. I may or may not have cried during it, and you know, I'm not. Trent, I'm not. Trent, you're afraid a, of admitting. You're that. A good. I think I cried harder in that movie. It was just like hardcore. Yeah. That girl's voice is really good. Unreal. Yeah, she sounds so good. She has such a beautiful voice. That gets me, man. I'm, yeah. And the thing that the thing that really bums me out is over auto tuning. And you can hear that in a lot of in mm -hmm. a lot of new modern uh, movies where they do any type of singing. It's mm -hmm. just so they're in like a noisy background, and you know we play with sound electronics here, like with gates and stuff like that. Yeah. There's there's always a little white noise in anything you do, but then when they go into song, all the white noise goes away, and it's like it's obvious they're singing from a studio, and it's uh, and you never know is that person talented or not because that's kind of the question, yeah. right? Are they talented or is is this overproduced? Right. Or here so there's a software called Melodyne, right? And you see you see the sound wave and if someone falls out of key or out of pitch whatever, you can just click and drag it right into the right spot, it's right? It, you can hear it though. Uh -huh. Like you you know whether someone is performing live or whether or that's not even you can tell there's a sound where you can tell it was engineered because it's mm -hmm. not perfect because there's just little little uh flaws in every like the voice it's not a perfect you know wave or it's not like perfectly straight yeah there's a little flaws in everything so when you correct a little bit of it it throws it off a little bit and then that's when you get that tinny metallic -y yeah. sound yeah or not metallica like <clears throat> the, the metal band yeah you don't speaking of which metal bands all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good segue. Yeah. Um, new show dropped on Netflix this week. Or it's a movie called Metal Lords. Mm -hmm. um, and it was one morning. It was one of the mornings where we had late class start. So I just threw it on at like 730 in the morning or whatever. Who doesn't want to watch a movie about metal at 730 in the morning? I was hesitant. Yeah, actually, that is a that's a strange yeah. morning choice. It, it was a weird time to watch it. Mm -hmm. um, entertaining movie, Metal Lords. It's basically about... Uh, two friends in high school. One of them's a huge metalhead. The other one, not so much. Mm -hmm. But they're both kind of those outcasts in the school. Um, and it's just uh, it's a throwback movie, kind of those old Battle of the Bands style. Highly, highly entertaining movie. Um, almost like a coming of age for for both characters. Metal Lords is what it's Metal called. Metal Lords. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, there's you know good music throughout. Good guitarists. Yeah. Entertaining. 
Um, it's rated R, so it's kind of like one of those super bad ish mm-hmm. type of movies where it's high school kids and you got a lot of profanity in there and some some other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, good movie, yeah. mental bubblegum movie, mental bubblegum, no. still funny. Like yeah. I, it has the kid from It, right? Did you ever see that movie It? I will <clears> check <throat> because it very well could. He looks like a kid that would be in It. Bit yeah, bit effeminate, kind of. Or can I say that? Yeah, he was He's very, very thin and like Jaden Martell. Yeah. Yep. So But fun is he funny? Yeah, yeah. He's more of a serious kind of funny. That was Michael Sarah's to- yeah. to- whole shtick. Very feminine, kind of really thin and mm-hmm. but so funny and clever. So any as many Michael Sarah's as we can get in this world we're <laughs> we'll benefit from. Man, I'll tell like it was a arrested development. Yeah. His name was uh Michael George Michael. Oh god. <laughs> one of the all-time that. great shows I, it, I can't get over seriously it. and which made me think i have not watched ozark season four because taylor never watched the first three yeah so have you are ozark you... was one of those shows where i made it through the first two seasons yeah. re- really quickly and i was super into the show and then there was a break between 18 months there was like an 18 month break mm-hmm. between season two season three yeah and i did i haven't watched it since then again it just it took too much time and i got busy watching other shows that I couldn't invest the the time and the mental effort to to get back into Ozarks. I would like to at some point when I can again watch two straight seasons. Yeah, Jason Bate. This is Jason Bateman's show, and he the reason it probably took so long is because he knew everything that was happening during COVID, at least creative creatively, was kind of trash. Yeah, but uh, there's a there's a piece of me that said like I look at Jason Bateman is playing. The same character he played in Arrest Development, yeah, but a, a much darker version, yeah. Where he's all he's doing is just trying to rally, like just wrangle all of his family and try to rank, like keep them together. Instead, but instead of like comedic circumstances, it's like really macabre, drug dealer murder, yeah. About, cartel, yeah, cartels. And I love it. Yeah, at least I, the, I think Jason Bateman's just a great actor. Yeah, he is. They they made a really they had they brought in. Uh, the wife, her name is Laura Linney. Her, they brought in her brother, who became kind of a uh, a liability, I think, in season three. Mm-hmm. I think he was a really bad choice. Like mm-hmm. he was not a great actor. I don't know. Someone could you shout out to casting. You could you could talk me into that. But anyway, so okay, so Metal Lords, Coda, obviously yeah. the Ultimatum. You're excited so, about Batman? Yeah, yeah. So. Batman was one of those movies that I wanted to, and this is the the Batman, right? It's called the Batman. Yeah. Uh, with <clears throat> who's the the big actor with Robert Pattinson? Yeah. It was one of those movies I was going to see in theaters. I never got to because just one having a two year old. When are you going to go watch a Batman movie right. with a two year old? Um, but then saw this week that it's dropping onto HBO Max like Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I put it on the watch yeah. list, and I'm excited for it to drop on Monday. G Day posted that. Yeah, thanks, G Day. Yeah, thanks, G Day. Cool, man. Okay. Well, uh... so Clark, I have a question for you too. What's on what? your mind, grapes? Oh. Outside of what we've already talked about. Well, first and foremost, I uh, I I just went through and I liked the Passion of Christ. I actually don't think I've. I need, I may need to rewatch that. That yeah. came out in 2004, but felt like it's. You know, Good Friday was yesterday, Easter is tomorrow, so that's a good one. Um, Taylor and I watched Downfall, the case against Boeing. Mm-hmm. Um, Thoughts. Good, good. And this came know. out, it came out just before that most recent Boeing crash in China. Yes. Yeah. So there was, a, I don't know what happened in China, the 737 mm-hmm. MAX. I don't know anything about aviation, but this one actually sounded pretty kind of easy to understand. Like they, they did, they had to retrofit fit the old 737 with new, more fuel efficient engines, mm-hmm. and they did not want to build a new body style. Which really is that because of government regulation? Um, no, no. The FDA is very they're <laughs> they're like the most efficient. Who would have thought government better, regulation but, yeah. could lead to uh, real world? Wait, you know, FAA, set. not yeah. The FAA, FDA. No, no, no. no. Gover- more government makes makes everything way more efficient. <laughs> uh, we shouldn't be saying that. We 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 do not speak on behalf of 
any of the organizations we're affiliated no. with. We are just doing this for pure entertainment. Um, so yes, but it was good. It, it's it's any one of those greed, like the greed type of uh, series those, or movies or documentaries. Those mm -hmm. are it's interesting because you're right. I was actually listening. You know, Elon Musk is in the news right now. He's looking at buying Twitter. Mm -hmm. If you follow our social, um, actually, if you he's looking at buying Mind Grapes. <laughs> if you follow our uh, our social media, and uh, you you start to you start to look at the dynamic uh, of how our commerce is set up, mm -hmm. right? If a CEO is incentivized with stock shares, then the CEO their their incentives model is to make them. Yeah, wealthy or is to make they're gonna, the stock more. They're going to increase the value of the stock. Right. So increasing the value of the stock means higher, uh, higher income, lower EPS, EPS, but higher income, lower, uh, lower uh, expenses, etc. Mm -hmm. So doing more things cheaper, selling more. So any shortcuts you can make increases the price of your stock when you meet quarterly. Mm -hmm. um, so this is Boeing is Boeing is no different. So what you do, you try to cut, you cut staff, you cut, uh, you get cheaper materials, etc. So I always think that's interesting. Boeing is such a they're they're such a mo they built everything and yet they got they got they got their lunch eaten by Airbus and yeah. in a lot of cases it is because of corporate greed and people you know not doing the right thing, not paying attention to quality. Um, but it looks like they've they've recovered pretty well. Uh, so I watched that. What else? What else was on my mind graves this week? Like I said, this was kind of like a slow week. Yeah. Um, Bates Motel. I just went through and I didn't watch that, but I really like that. Uh, we crashed. Still watching that. Mm -hmm. It's starting to lose me a little bit. Yeah. But uh, is also, that because of the the break between weeks? You think? I think so. Yeah, that's it's getting me. It's hitting me hard. Yeah, maybe this that, that yeah. isn't the smart, but I don't know. A lot of these shows, I mean, the dropout, we crashed or whatever. I'm, it's taking me longer to watch each episode. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you really do. You have to set yourself up for it. You have to like get yourself ready, mm -hmm. like ready and prepared, and get yourself in the right and mindset. What happened last week? Right, and. uh if you have a screaming baby or a fiscal law paper to, <laughs> to write or something like that, it, it can be easy, which is why the mental bubble gum is so uh -huh. helpful. Um, my mom liked West Side Story. My mom, mm -hmm. my mom's always been in theater. My, my little sister, has, was she's an artist and she's been dancing for as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, she was in West Side Story. She was actually in West Side Story really? at North Carolina School of the Arts with like a famous actor. My mm -hmm. sister went to North Carolina School of the Arts with like tons of actors that you know, you know of. But uh, I started watching the new West Side Story. Uh, Steven Spielberg produced it. I don't really love the music. Mm -hmm. The story I'm not in love with. I don't know. I'm just going to give it a thumbs down, honestly. I'm not going okay. to watch it again. There you go. It was okay. Like it's, it's just not my cup of tea, yeah. which is why we probably need to invent some more thumbs. Yeah. He, Netflix now Kinda has like the two that. thumbs. Right. Yeah. What is this? The you Caesar? Want like, like an almost and an almost. Like you're like halfway between neutral yeah. and bad and then halfway between up and bad. Yeah. We can do that. And then I we can so. do like two thumbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there is, there, it is a spectrum, right? Yeah. Um, but the <clears> one good thing so far about Mind Grapes is there have been those movies that I've just kind of been like okay with. Mm -hmm. And then I have to ask myself, did I truly like it? And there have been a lot of shows where it's like, no, you know, yeah, I, I, it was entertaining. I watched it, but I didn't like it. So, and that is kind of how I felt about uh, the ultimatum. Yeah, entertaining, but how are we on time? We are at about thirty-five minutes. Okay, man. Well, I'm gonna hit Wombles Hardware. Hopefully, they're still with us. If you're in the Willington area, and stop by Wombles Hardware to fulfill your hardware building and gardening needs. Wombles Hardware. If they don't have it, you don't need it. Also, I'm promoting another one of my friend's businesses, the Atolas. So go to atolas.com. They have a they have a bunch of like really cool water gear, and they have they they're not croquis. They call them water retaining uh, sunglass uh, sunglass retaining devices. But uh, 
they're really cool. So they like float. Have you ever lost a pair of sunglasses in the yes. ocean? Or, yeah. So this is like the antidote to that. Floating the Kamal River up exactly. near uh, Dude. New Braunfels. Yeah. So uh, it's a really, really genius idea. And so he is the brother of one of my groomsmen, a really good friend of mine. We went to University of Georgia together. So um, that not going to talk about my reward software because I don't think we have any plastic surgeons listening. Um, what did I want to close out with? There we go. I'm just scrolling through the Atoll's website right now. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Uh, Moon Knight. I'm going to, I'm going to continue watching that. Yeah. Like I haven't this. started it. That's, that's on my watch list. Dude, you may just want to wait. You may just want to wait till they're all out just because are, they is, are, are they doing week, week yes, by week too? Okay. Yes, yeah. Then I'm going to wait, which is just like driving me nuts. Um, okay. So what else? I'm excited about Batman too. Yep. Uh, we crashed. Okay, man. So, oh yeah. Uh, I started watching the Joe, Joe and Carol Baskins. How the, was it? Uh, I feel like it's going to be bad. This, yeah. Just. I, They're trying to cash in on that, that whole yeah, COVID craze. I think they did a decent job, but it's still, uh -huh. they, they, this is, maybe this came out too quickly. And I think everyone was like, so inundated with it that yeah. it was just like now it's like i don't know yeah. not that for, for me i think that the movie came out too late <laughs> oh really yeah Maybe. because i i did yeah. the i watched the show during COVID. i was fascinated yeah. and then you know time passed and i'm like oh that was you know an interesting story but not something that i'm like and they just came out with the season into. two of yeah of the i know i didn't finish the season two of the tiger king mm -hmm. season one wasn't like that entertaining but it was COVID, so it yeah was like, okay also here's here's the thing he always my I'm speaking with one of my buddies who's in advertising. He's up in Colorado named Trey Tyler. <clears throat> and he's, shout out Trey. Shout out Trey. He's working on uh like right now uh Nike and AT&T kind of stuff, but you know, I I run a few things by him, but he's you know, I showed him the app and he's like you know this is the reason this this app is so important and he's like he's talking about our copy not really hitting the mark yeah. because we were we're almost there and i've been thinking about this a lot since the advent of tv everyone for a for long periods of time the options were so few yep so everyone was watching the same thing right at you know when johnny carson was around yeah. everyone said hey did you catch johnny carson last night or did you catch this last night um even when i was growing up like I guess 90210 would have been the, or the Saturday morning cartoons. We were all watching the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now there is no community around the the stuff that we yeah. watch. So it we're all over the place and it, it does feel a little less uh, communal, I guess the term yeah. is there's, a, there's, there's no camaraderie surrounding. And I, dare I say paradox of choice. Yeah. The what, what we talked about weeks ago, right? There's just too much choice. Yeah. And there's, and I almost want to know that if I'm going to watch this, I have someone to talk about it with. Yeah. Right. Your spouse can, can, you know, I'm not going to talk so, about Batman with Taylor, probably on the same uh, level. I'll talk about it with you or Cheetah or Dylan yeah. or something like that. Yeah. That that's actually a really interesting point. Cause I'm curious. And we've hit on this a couple of times during the podcast now. Um, but all of these major studios producing this high quality content, are they getting the views that they're expecting to get? You know, I, I did see, I read something in the news this morning that Halo Paramount is really disappointed with the numbers that they're getting on Halo right now. And I think that it just goes back to the, the fact that the writers of the whole show didn't really consider who would right. be watching the show and didn't talk with the studio that made the video game. It's not interesting for the people that grew up playing the game. But outside of that, I'm just curious, mm -hmm. are these streaming platforms because they're so siloed into their corners and the average person will only subscribe to two, maybe three streaming services at the same time. They're not getting the views, the same views that they would get in the major network model of cable and, you know, satellite TV and stuff like that. I don't know. <clears throat> I know. Uh, the only thing I've heard recently is about CNN plus. <laughs> <laughs> This is not good. So I, I read something yeah. you know, that um, Elon's obviously trying to buy Twitter right now. Right. I don't know if it's true. This could be disinformation. No, yeah. um, 
but Elon Musk offered to buy CNN Plus for twenty eight dollars. Mm. I don't know if that's true, but I thought oh, it was funny. That is funny. Well, they 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 they, they dumped like two hundred fifty million into it, mm -hmm. and and they they're not getting any ten thousand subscribers. Which no ten thousand downloads, not oh, subscribers. Like oh, people who download the app. That's bad. Real bad because. There's a lot of people like, oh, wait, I have to pay for this. Yeah. And they're like, I'm not, I don't. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it's like, I mean, hey, if you want to watch CNN, just go to your local airport. But you've got, you really have to, this is why what we've been talking about, it is kind of a beautiful time because now Paramount and Peacock and Hulu, Discovery. They all, everyone has to start coming up with content that people are willing to pay an yeah. extra five bucks or 10 bucks for a month. Yeah. So, and if you don't, or if you're not getting these big feature films, like let's say Batman, let's say Paramount bought Batman. Yeah. That would bring a lot of people in, yep. but that's really expensive. But then it's like how many of those people are doing the, the week trial, the free week, you know, subscribing to it and then canceling their subscription. Yeah. These studios and these networks are spending millions and millions and millions of dollars on these movies and shows. Are they seeing that in terms of signups yeah. for, you know, their streaming service. I, I don't know. How it's going to shake out. There'll probably be a lot more consolidation, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, Disney will buy everything. No, I'm but uh, how it's going to shake out, it, I don't think the streaming of uh, 2032 is going to look anything like right now. But yeah. it's just an interesting time. And it really I'm, is. I'm excited. Like, my grapes will be a place where we can consolidate and and get yeah. all that and at least people will be able to share the good stuff that's out there but yeah uh for, for right now just in the the current status quo mind grape solves the problem of the paradox of choice yes. and i think it's just gonna continue to do that as studios figure out what they're doing with you know their on-demand streaming mm -hmm. services and i think we're 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 a positive auxiliary for for these streaming companies too i think so too so, so i mean there were things like i signed up for paramount plus because i I signed up for Apple TV. Same yeah. thing. Dude, so if Apple anybody TV. from uh, yeah. any major studios <laughs> yeah. are out there listening, yeah. you know, uh, you'd like to get on some referrals with Mind Grapes, just hit us up at oh, Clark at the Mind Grapes or Trent at the Mind Grapes. We're going we're, to come. We're going to come. Uh, you'll be getting a phone call if I can, we can find your phone number, which has been a big challenge. Put your phone number on, online. Anyway. <laughs> okay. You got anything else for us, Trent? No, no. I think this is a good place to end it. Okay, uh, again, it's, sorry for the the free week last week we we didn't do our podcast but i feel like this was a good week to come back and yeah man we did and nail what we've been watching we did twice the quality in this yeah. podcast okay man I think well so. uh it is april 16th this is the mind grapes uh mind grapes nation signing out